sky is indeed wide enough for every lawyer to fly, as there are different grounds that lawyer can also till. A lawyer is is in a unique is uniquely placed. He functions virtually everywhere. Most companies have legal departments, and uh, banks, a lot of big companies, they have legal departments. A lawyer can choose to be a solicitor, in which case he principally advises, he prepares documents, he gives opinions, he doesn't go to court. Lawyers are practically become company secretaries of, in addition to being legal advisor, they have become very good politicians. Lawyers lead everywhere. If you look at it, if a lawyer is in any community, he's either the chairman or the secretary of any organization. If he's not lawyer, if he's not if he's not chairman, if he's not secretary, he's probably holding a position. So the law profession provides you for leadership. And the field is very wide. One of those who practice law in and out of the courtroom is a professor of law and senior advocate of Nigeria. Taiwo Oshikita. He's been a lecturer at the University of Lagos for close to four decades. Over 30 universities are accredited by the Council of Legal Education to offer law degrees in Nigeria. The good is where somebody was alleged to have confessed to the commission of an offense. I made up my mind on the legal profession so many years ago, I believe I was in Form 2 when I accompanied my dad, Chief Barash to court. He's a lawyer. I saw him in action. I loved what I saw. And I have since stayed glued to the legal profession since then. I believe that it was his influence. He did not set out to influence me. I just followed him to court and I saw what I saw, I loved it. I saw how the lawyers were dressed, their comportment and everything made me to fall in love with the legal profession. I came into teaching by accident on account of being posted here for my NYSC. And uh, since then, uh, year in, year out, I, I feel highly fulfilled. Particularly when you finish with them and they're out there doing well in practice and doing well in the, in the industry. In the classrooms, I come down to their level, speak their language, they, they talk to me, I talk back to them, and uh, I feel fulfilled. Some of them see me as their mentors and role model. Quite honestly, I cannot, I enjoy teaching more than practice. He allows nostalgia to take a better part of him as he speaks of the legal profession back in the days and now. Well, the difference I see, first of all, is the large numbers. There were fewer judges then than the number of judges you have today. Of course, uh, those judges also were able to carry themselves with dignity and respect. Those days, when you see a judge, you know that you have seen a judge. But I cannot confidently say the same thing about what we have today. It may not be unconnected with the fact that there are so many courts and so many judges which is also not unconnected with the Nigeria's population. As the population increases, the demand for the justice system also increases. Those days uh, when we started, even when my dad was in practice, you could see that uh, lawyers uh, were men and women of integrity. Their words are their bond uh, because uh, they took discipline of lawyers very seriously. Today, there's a lot of misbehavior in the legal profession. There are so many of them around there who should not be in the legal profession. Others share in these concerns in the judiciary. The judiciary is the last hope of the common man. And if the same judiciary uh, has now failed in its duty, you know, to be the last hope, you know, of the people, then do we have a nation? Do we have a country? The answer is no. However, 
Though it is um, generally said that um, judges are corrupt, I want to say that not all judges are corrupt. And same goes for lawyers. Judges that are corrupt could not even have been corrupt, but for lawyers. I, I say this without um, any apologies. But for lawyers, but for litigants who are also uh, corrupt, also, judges will find it very difficult to remain corrupt, even if they are. If more work is done in the area of you know disciplining lawyers, it will be an example even to lawyers that are to to to, to potential lawyers, people that are still you know anticipating to become lawyers. That if this is the level, the bar of discipline in this profession, then they come in with that understanding, and we are able to expunge, if not all the bad eggs, 99%.